Hi everybody and welcome to our grooming channel. My name is Melanie Newman and this little guy is the amazing Adam the Pug. In today's grooming session, I'm going to share with you how to de-shed your pug. So if you've got a pug at home that sheds constantly, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you some little tricks that will remove a lot of hair out of your pug's coat. The equipment we are using in today's grooming session is I have a non-slip mat underneath him so he's not going to slide around while we're using our de-shedding tools. A rubber comb, a flexi slicker. So the, this flexi slicker has the normal pins on one side but on the other side they are actually straight. So when we're going through our dog's coat it will actually help stimulate the hair follicles and remove all those dead skin cells and help promote new healthy growth. And a de-shedding tool. Pugs shed constantly and removing your pug's dead unwanted undercoat will help the new healthy coat grow through. Dogs actually shed to regulate their body temperature so it helps protect your dog's skin as well as keep them really cool in the summer and super warm in the winter. Our dog's undercoat will be dull so we need to use our grooming tools to be able to remove that dull dead coat. On Adam we are going to use a de-shedding tool and it works by pulling and dragging out that dead dull coat and leaving that new healthy shiny coat. We begin by placing our hand in front of the tool and gently pulling our dog's coat nice and firm. And then with our de-shedding tool, we are gently going to pull it through our dog's coat and it will start to remove that dead unwanted undercoat. I prefer to use a de-shedding tool on a dog with a dirty coat because it means that the de-shedding tool is actually going to grip on that hair and remove more coat. If the coat is clean, it's more likely to just slide through the coat and not actually pull out any dead undercoat. Using a de-shedding tool will definitely reduce the amount of loose hair your pug has in his coat. You can use this de-shedding tool once a week and you can use it from 5 minutes to 20 minutes depending on how much coat your dog has. If your pug is a little bit restless, maybe try 2 to 5 minutes and then build up on that. Another great tool is a rubber comb. So we use these by just gently pulling it through the coat and it helps remove that dead coat as well. So same sort of principle, but just a different tool. And I do notice that dogs do prefer the rubber comb and I feel like it acts like a little bit of a massage for them. Uh -huh. And we can see how much coat is coming out. When using our grooming tools, the area we need to be careful of is their little joint areas. So we don't want to go over those areas too hard because it can be uncomfortable for them. So if we are de-shedding their little legs, it's nice to just gently go over those areas. 
After using our de-shedding tools, I like to use our Refresh Coat Conditioning Spray. So this adds just a little bit more shine in the coat and more hydration. And then using our slicker, and I'm using the straight pin side. So again, like I said earlier, this will help stimulate the hair follicle and remove those dead skin cells to help produce and grow new healthy coat. He quite likes this. Don't you? Good boy. I think he's enjoying himself. Thank you for watching and this is the first of a series of grooming your pug at home videos so keep an eye out and subscribe to our channel and if you guys have any questions about your pug's coat or any de-shedding tools pop them in the comments below and Adam and I will get back to you.